children that live here. Some have come and go. I really think I remember other kids, but it's hurting my mind. The three workers are my family. The first is Miss Sophia. She's an angel. Miss Sophia runs this place. She keeps it clean and beautiful, and it's gonna sound silly when I say I love her. I'd be dead without her. She gets us anything we need and really cares. And I ship her and Dr. Dan, but maybe that's just a personal opinion. Speaking of him, yeah, he's a doctor. But honestly, no one in here really gets sick very much, if I'm going to be completely honest. He's really nice. Super nice. And I hate leaving him. He's always there. Also, the way he keeps looking after us is great. If something's wrong and we tell him, he'll be right on it. But the one thing I can never tell him is how Lilac treats us. He also makes the most delicious food I've ever seen. Another thing I'll miss about this place, how caring everyone is, except for that one. He really cares about us. We get to eat food, have fun, play, just everything ever. Buttercup is another worker. I love her like a sister. She's so funny. And really beautiful, actually. But I should probably tell you more about the children. One of them is Maddie. She is so funny. And really, really nice. And she always makes me happy. I feel like she, along with me, are the ones who have trusted the orphanage most, but suspected something with Lilac. She's a child, but <laughs> I don't know. She's six going on 20, basically. But I love her, and I will definitely miss her creative stories. I don't want to take her childhood, but I may have to. Then there's Rachie. She's really pretty. Like, really, really pretty. She can make anyone happy just by smiling. And she didn't know what was going on, but I told her and I think I'm gonna do everything to protect her. She's precious. Anyone could use her. Then there's Lily. Lily tends to keep to herself. But in other ways, she's the kindest soul I've ever met. I understand she's truly hurt by everything that's gone on. But no matter what, I'll protect her. She's really shy and quiet, which makes her an easy target for her. Then there's the two babies, Ashley, who doesn't even know what's going on, and it's gonna hurt so much to look after her and take her, but we're gonna have to. Then there's Landon. He is super smart for his age. He's really cute. He's the only boy here, so it's going to be a little bit difficult, but I trust that I'll look after him. But then there's the newest orphan. Her name is Caitlin. She dealt with Lilac before, I think in his school. Something's not right about her. You can tell that she's obviously hurt by everything that's gone on, but I just get an extra sad side from her. I've never seen her eat. She looks super skinny and sick. And broken. I want to help, but I never learned how to do that, really. I think that if we're going to get through this, I'll look after her. And finally discover what's wrong. We're trying to make today the best day ever. Only for it to end in tragedy. We had a lot of fun. We want to show it to the workers that we care, no matter what. We'll see what happens, diary. I hope you hear from me again. But if not, just know I died. Okay guys, time to go upstairs. It's kind of getting close to bed. <gasps> uh, okay. 
We're escaping tonight. What are you doing? Just making sure everything's perfect. I don't want to do this. I know, Maddie. We'll get through it, I promise. So, are we just gonna leave? We've been under the care for so long. How can we do this? Good night, guys. We're gonna wake up when everyone goes to bed. And then we're gonna escape. Okay. Lilac's gonna kill us. Not if we get away from her. Come on. Good night, baby losers. <laughs> Where is my phone? Where is my phone? Help me, help! Tell me where the phone is. It's right here for goodness sake. Take it, stop moaning, and shut up. And that was the first night I ever saw Caitlin stand up for herself and act so different. Thank you. Good night, losers. Life is gonna be different. I just know we'll get there, even if it's not in one piece. I hope for the best. Wishes from the gods. I wish I never had to leave this bed. Crystal? Yeah? Can I sleep with you? I'm super scared. Sure, Lily. <laughs> I just need to do something. I do not know what is up with them. Well, I wouldn't know either. Really? It's bedtime. What are you doing? I love you. Thank you. What on earth? Hold me. I will. It's time to go. Peachy, wake up. Okay. Uh, Lily. Uh, oh, shh, 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 shh. No, it's okay. Do you really think we should take the babies? Yes, they don't serve life as much as anyone. Uh, uh, you. Now go. What? Aren't you coming? Oh, I will. But not until you guys are downstairs and safe. Crystal, no, I can't let you do that. Maddie, shush. Yeah, maybe they'll catch you. You just have to hide. I know you have great hiding skills. If anything happens, you guys deserve safety. I don't. So go! Come on. I'm scared of climbing down in the dark. How am I gonna deal with these little kids? I have no idea. I'm a teenager, not a mom. I can't help you. <laughs> we'll stay together. Crystal, come on. Come on. We didn't pack enough. Can't pack much. 